So today, we're in sunny California. It's Super weird to say, isn't it? It is. It's fun. You've actually never gotten to say that, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> so we're excited to be here in California. Uh, we're at the Full-Time Families Rally, and we're going to do what's called a Parade of Homes. So it's one thing to tour new RVs and wonder how will this work, where will everything fit, how do they do that? So now we get to tour where people are living with multiple people and see how it works out. You might see stuff that's almost brand new that's just been kind of customized just a little bit. You might see stuff that's older. There's geese like crazy around here. <laughs> Very territorial. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, you might see stuff that's older, it's been totally remodeled. Um, so probably a variety of stuff. But to us, that's the big story. Like, how do people live in here? How do they make it feel like home? This is one of the best parts of the rally, for it sure. It is. I we love, love doing these tours. So the slides on our first one pretty much take <laughs> two thirds of this side. They're all on one side. Man, it's just all slides over here. Aww. That looks cozy. And then tons of storage under there. This had fabric in the front. We just ripped this off and this was already finished here. So this is like extra schoolwork, shoes. Yeah, it's cute. I love it. Yeah. Made a homemade mantle. That's really cool. We totally thought fireplaces were like for decor, but they are so awesome. Well, you'll see this model a lot. So this wall, they totally put this wall in. So this was all that was here with us probably flip around, that kind of that's, thing. That's a they, genius You don't need idea. both sides. I mean, the husband doesn't anyways. I'm sure it's a... <laughs> no, that's a really cool idea. It kind of gives you a little more privacy and homey look. Oh, his desk is over there? Oh, yeah. So you can add another... Ah, wow. So when you add that wall, you get room to add on some workspace. And they added this, looks like, for more counter space. Yeah. Oh, this is, uh, is that custom too? Yes. Yeah, that's I nice. Mean, I mean, this is my dad. Uh -huh. And, um, and um, just warm it up a little bit, oh, you know. Like, this is our little kind of morning work here. And then obviously this is marking down where we've been. So four kids. Four kids. One, two, three, four. Yeah. They got their own little area back here. Yeah. They did a really good job making that their own. I mean... And like the cool thing is if you want to get on the road, I mean, you can, those trailers, there's a lot of those trailers you can get. So I think layout does matter, but I don't think it's like as important. I know for us as we thought it was, like it's almost more important if you've got a sense of creativity and flexibility and mm -hmm. you know, if you can find a way to get out there and do it and make something work. I mean, that's, that's more important, I think. I'm not saying layout isn't at all important, but I don't know that's, you know, you, you can make a lot of things work with some creativity. And this thing is thin enough to fit in there. <laughs> this is called the Edge. Uh, and it's 300 bucks, which is kind of spendy. But considering like it's modifying our bedroom, it, like it's it, was, oh, uh, it was a lot easier to do than modifying the bedroom. This is my inverter. It's a Magnum hybrid. Let's say you're at somebody's house and you're just plugged into their into their wall outlet. You've got like 15 amps of power. You go into the controller on the Magnum and you actually set it to 15 amps. The system will not draw any more than 15 amps, so it'll never pop the circuit. If you ever go over that amount in power, it draws it from the batteries. That inverter charger is awesome. And he's got uh, six six volt batteries in the bay he was talking about that are sealed off and vented out, and then 300 watts of solar on the roof. So I mean, they're ready to add a lot more solar if they need to. But. What's your summary on all that, Marissa? It's good stuff. I agree. <laughs> so there's two groups. There's a group of all women and a group of all men, and we're obviously not both of either sex. Well, that's sex, why I wore so. my camo. I'm trying yeah, to. Yeah, she's, she's with the men today. We thought, well, the men will move faster, and there was, it was a little bit smaller group, but the guys were like geeking out, geeking out and stuff. I think we're gonna be slower than the women. <laughs> <laughs> Since the 
last time we've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Is this a Berkey? Right? Yes. Is that what it's called? I've tried to talk Nathan into yeah, one of these, well, but... Yeah, we don't have any. <laughs> Yeah. Got the fur going on, don't they? Yeah, I love it. So this is the mid bunk. Yeah, you got the room in the middle. One of our favorite layouts. We love this layout. Yes. Because you get the big kitchen living room and then you get this underneath. I, this is a great space. I love it. Got your loft up above. I think the guys and girls clash. See what you do without a home. Oh, that's neat. Mm -hmm. If you've ever wondered what to do with an outdoor kitchen, if that isn't something that interests you, they had a really cool idea and they have made it into a screened in playroom for their kids. Look, so, I mean, you got shade. And then, so it's kind of like a third bedroom. So look that's at that. Genius. And then they cut out a hole right there, put in the door. Just got to get creative with it. So neat. Yeah, I've never seen that. That's really cool. And the kids get some experience. Hey! Yeah, hey, you just screwed that. <laughs> that's a great this is idea. Awesome. Whose idea was it? Mine. There you go. All right. <laughs> yeah, we only use the outdoor kitchen for seafood. And it was like, you know what? I think we need another kid room. So it's genius. It's awesome. And we did pet proof screening so yeah. kids and pets can't get out and it's all good. Daughter asked um, for a room where she could feel like a bug in the grass. So that's how it got <laughs> Well, the you pulled it yeah. off. <laughs> it's quite a bit of space. Isn't it is. I think, I know this is over 40 feet, so it is a big one. Mm -hmm. But man. Feels like a home, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, look at that couch. It's cute. It's nice. Yeah. I like your cactus pillow. Yeah. <laughs> it looks <laughs> looks relatively real. Rear bunk. This is a big bunk area too. Wow. Yeah. And then you add that on, and that's just super cool. Yeah. You've got how many kids? You got two. 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 Okay. Two. I mean, good grief. There's all kinds of room back here for me. I definitely feel like a bug in the grass. You feel like a bug in the grass? I just walked through. <laughs> you got the little toadstool. So we're checking out Airstream coming up. It's our favorite layout. It's what we looked for to buy when we wanted an Airstream. Uh, but these are tough to get used. So, but sometimes the new ones aren't that much more from a lot of people we talked to in process we saw. Uh, I it, love, I mean, this is, a, the bunk layout is really awesome, but I also love our layout, mm -hmm. that it works now. If you have older kids, I mean, ours probably- If Hensley was 12, it'd be tough. Yeah. But luckily she's but petite right now, and she's three. Right now it gives us extra windows, which I love, and it gives us like more living space. Mm -hmm. So, um, There's good and I bad. do love yeah. the bunk model, awesome. Do you like the floor? We've seen this. I mean, so far, it's a, it's Is it, what, do they call it a bamboo floor? What do they call that? It's, it's in like between like a hardwood and a... You don't really get options yeah. as far as what, mm -hmm. it's like, this is what it comes with. So I was like, okay. There's your Berkey bag. Yeah. This is what's great. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. that's a lot of space, especially like if Hensley gets older or something. You know, she can have more room, more space. I don't think I've the seen dark, that fabric. Yeah, dark, I like I it. I think it's the newer model yeah, color. Yeah, I like it. Which is part of why I waited for it, because yeah. the other one was the tan color. Uh-huh, yeah, all of them been tan that we've seen. Mm -hmm. And Marissa loves the, you get the metal yes. everywhere instead of... Instead of carpet. They're not the wrong <laughs> carpet walls. <laughs> she didn't look... So this family's had the same rig for 15 years? I thought he said since 2000. But wow, maybe. so a while. Yeah. <laughs> over a decade, which is a long time yeah. to keep one rig. And uh, they've remodeled it three times over that span. So he's made all kinds of modifications since they've lived in it. Yeah, they got a balance beam and a trampoline, backup camera in the back. And there's some levelers going on. I've never seen that one. Is it the new one or something? Huh. What we've done in here is we have this drawer that pulls out. I mean, and it'll go out a long way and all the kids clothes can be in there and then along the sides underneath we have little totes and so we built this bed our little headboard actually can open up so you can put stuff behind the headboard up in front and then we put this little chest freezer in right uh -huh. here and so what we have is a special outlet behind here that runs on the inverter on the front of the trailer. So when we're driving down the highway, we just unplug it from here and plug in the inverter and it'll run this little chest freezer. That's so awesome. So then we put in this little folding table here. 
fold down. And this folding table right here also will fold down like that. So that the slide comes in yeah. past it. Movie theater? We put a little blind in there <laughs> for a movie theater, right? <laughs> this is a bunkhouse back here, so it's got two bunks here. Okay. And then of course there's storage underneath there that goes all the way forward. We got the reverse osmosis, so the those are the filters there, and underneath here is the little water container for that. Filters everything out. Awesome water. Pretty cool what he's done with the toy hauler area. Garage for storage. And they got the office back here. Own dedicated office space slash classroom space. A lot of firsts today. I don't think I've seen anybody take the toy hauler area and split it in half like this. Really cool. Good idea. It's just such a big area to start with and you split it up and you get two separate spaces out of it. So this is the toy hauler area on the inside. You've got a loft up top for one kid and then underneath you've got a bedroom for the other kid and then a pantry. So I don't know what we're gonna see inside of this one, but these are super nice. Crazy well built for full time living. Don't know that I've ever seen uh, one in person that a family's been living in. Uh, these elite suites, just uh, built like a rock, man. Super heavy, <laughs> you gotta have the truck to tow it. Uh, but they're great. Wi-Fi Ranger and uh, Wii Boost with a directional antenna that's attached to the, uh, the TV antenna, so you can, I can spin it from inside without having to actually get on the roof to point it. This thing is, a, it's a beast. This is 23,000 pounds. The whole uh, door sounds like a house. This is some other kind of... I thought it did, but this is even more. This feels like a house. So this was originally ordered. This was just empty when he bought it, but they've turned it into a bunk room back here. But I mean, I don't know if this is supposed to be an office. Isn't that crazy? Think about all this extra room. I know. And like, look what they got back here. I've met, I don't know if I've bath. seen two baths. Yeah, two full baths in this thing. That'd be great for a family. Look at all this storage. Oh storage for days they initially had another brand brand new had all kinds of problems it's so bad the company gave them another brand new fifth wheel which still had problems and so they're just they went and bought this this is seven years old it only been used twice um, so just in superb condition um, and they've had zero problems with this um, since they've gotten it and they're just going to sell the new one that's also having those problems <laughs> fixed so these feel so much like a house We've walked in a lot of these and they're just, they're so nice. There's the other full bath. These are nice. I'd take one of these. <laughs> Our own private bath. I mean, it just feels... Sturdy. Feels like a home. Feels super sturdy. Mm -hmm. This is seven years old. <laughs> it's in fantastic shape. Here's his office up here. Granite steps. <laughs> <laughs> you got the granite going on. I don't need anything heavier. Yeah, I mean, it's not heavy enough as it is. Let's get all kinds of granite. But it's super nice. I mean, I guess it gets to a point where it's like, yeah, another thousand pounds or two. Just. <laughs> and so I don't know the exact numbers on everything, but I do know he said it costs the original owner $40,000 per time he used it because he only used it twice in the seven years. So it's pretty crazy the amount of depreciation. And um, I, I think the big thing to me is like, um, and we're not saying never buy new, but know that when you buy new, you can have problems. And also know on the other side of the equation is that you can get things that are used that are in phenomenal shape. I mean, this was kept in covered storage uh, for the seven years, uh, so it's still in great shape even though it was used, and they're getting a very solid rig at a very good price uh, for what it is for that. It's a pretty awesome day. Some very creative people when it comes to their RVs. I mean, most all our ideas have probably came from somebody else. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> we love seeing these new ideas, and a lot of stuff I'd never seen before or thought about doing. That's what's fun about full-time family rallies. Everybody's so different and just brings a new perspective. And um, I love that people can get creative and create their own space and um, show that it's possible, you know, to live as a family in a small space. And it's about the journey. It's about the places you travel, the memories you make, and not about the space itself, but you're able to make that space home. Yeah, we saw everything from 30 feet to 43-ish. And I mean, anywhere from like, one or two kids up to five kids and so man it can be done just some creativity involved if you haven't seen our video from last year our other parade of homes we've got more of these that we did in tallahassee with the full-time rally there so that's really neat too you get to see even more variety and a whole new set of homes uh, that people are living in uh, on the road well we're gonna go ahead and wrap up uh, they're doing a group photo for the full-time family rally we're gonna be a part of that and we will catch you guys later